Well, it's that time again. Another unboxing video. Uh, so I've got my latest order from Carp Kit. And, you know, it's a, a cold December day. It's not too bad out, so I figured we'd do this outside and see what we got. So let's get right at it. Because I'm eager to see what we got here. Okay, Simon, this time there's a lot of tape on it. All right. As everybody knows, my favorite bubble wrap. The invoice, as always, the personal touch. You know, have a great Christmas. You know, that's that's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Thank you, Simon, uh, and you as well. It's a long list, so let's get at it. See what we got here. Pocket. Okay. All right. Well, first things first. Okay, the Ace Hard-On <laughs> Camo Lead Core Leaders. These are awesome. I've been using them all year. Uh, I started using these in January of 2016. And uh, this, this pattern, I've been using the weed, uh, the weed green ones. Um, this is the gravel. So it's kind of got elements of brown, yellow, black. Um, some of the spots I fished this summer were almost entirely gravel um, they had some timbers and stuff like that so there was a lot more brown and even though the weed was get, uh, the weed color was getting me fish um, I think I would have done a little bit better uh, blending the lead core in um, so this has got like the quick link swivels um, the, the large ring swivels for doing like helicopter rigs and stuff uh, and it even has the instructions on the back about how to rig it up but yeah I've been using this lead core all year have have loved it it's been doing great looking forward to using that in that different color what's next uh, no, a few different things here uh, again from ace so this one is the the camel core coated hook link this is the one I've been using um, it's it's kind of like a it's, it's supple but it is semi stiff um, this is in the 15 pound gravel uh, I've been using um, the weed green again or the, the the camo one where it breaks up a little bit better. So this is a little bit brighter um, You might be able to see it a little bit. It's kind of yellowish there um, Again for some of those light silty bottoms or the gravel bottoms that I've been fishing with um, My darker hook links I think have been standing out a little bit more so I want something that's gonna blend a bit more uh, This now will give me more options So that's that there, you know to go with that lead core um, this is the reaction sinking braid hook link so this is more supple um, because I've been using a lot of the stiff and semi stiff hook links I wanted something that's gonna um, lay on the bottom a little bit better in some of those situations where I, I don't need that stiff hook link um, this is also what I'm gonna be using for the shorter hook links as well uh, this is also in gravel so again it's that lighter tone and uh, 20 meters on this spool just as the other one so looking forward to using those as well. What else? More bubble wrap all around it. Okay, so, okay, the Gardner Covert Quick Lock Swivels. Um, been using the little quick links and the quick change links a lot this year, uh, especially since I've been tying my rigs the way I have been. We'll, we'll get into another rig tying video soon about like the multi-rig and such that I used. Um, these are really handy and I've run out. So the ones I had, I don't even know the brands that I had, but this one, the Gardner ones, I've been using Gardner all year and really, really enjoyed the products. So I went with Gardner on the quick lock swivels. Really, really necessary. Ha ha ha. I think there's only one package. Yeah, there's only one package of these in there. I need to get more um, because, you know, a package of 10 is just not enough. The Gardner Covert hook aligners. Uh, this is the large in see-through brown. This made a huge difference in my hooking percentage. Um, again, when we get into a rig talk video uh, where we break down how I've been tying my multi-rig this year in particular, because that is the rig I went to as my go-to rig from about July on. Um, 
these were absolutely essential. And then as soon as I ran out, even though the multi-rig was still catching me fish, the hooking percentage dropped drastically and uh, not as many fish were getting that, that good hard hook hold. So I, I had a lot more hook pulls or a lot of uh, just missed takes. Um, one of the more recent videos that I did with Jan uh, fishing in November there, um, I didn't have these and we had a lot of missed takes on my line first thing in the morning. So glad to have got more of these and by the time spring rolls around, I hope to have probably 10 or 15 packs of these ready on the go uh, in all three uh, color patterns. So that's good, we got that. All right. The Midi Spawn. Now you've seen in the videos I, I have the Mini. Um, I love it. I can cast that with a lighter rod, uh, use it with the nine footer mostly. Um, but you know, you don't need a heavy spawn rod to be casting that around. This one is actually not for me. This one is Jacob's. Um, so Jacob, we got it. Uh, here you go. Um, back in July, uh, fishing on the Grand River when Jacob got that, uh, that monster 33 pounder. It was a 3313 and he followed it up an hour later with a 2313. Some huge fish. Um, I was giving him some tips on how to cast his spawn uh, to get a better angle, or sorry, a better arc. Um, so he can make sure he was getting that distance and hitting that clip a little bit softer and uh, Yeah, I cast it a little bit too hard and we watched that spawn sail and sail and sail and Never come back because the line snapped in the air uh, So <laughs> Jacob I have replaced your midi spawn. Here you go, buddy Okay, next The Mavardi swinger arm in blue so everybody's seen the videos where I use the, the chain swingers um, bobbins and if you've watched a lot of the videos where I'm fishing in wind you can see that thing swaying and even with the sensitivity cr sensitivity cranked up it's it's still giving me issues with you know false indications false beeps you know well that's that's good when you're getting hours and hours and not even a touch um, you know those false beeps some kind sometimes sometimes give you a little bit of hope um, I need a swinger arm, I really do. Uh, this is actually a, a heck of a lot bigger than I thought it was. But, you know, I really didn't know that it was gonna be this large, but we're gonna give it a whirl. Um, Cause I need a swinger arm no matter what. And you know, I went with blue. I had my, uh, my son pick this one out because his favorite color, color's blue. So we went with that. And there's instructions on how you could set it up on the back. So looking forward to setting this up. It's got the, the sliding weight to adjust you know, tension. Uh, looks like it's got a little bit of a locking mechanism in there for the, the connection as well. So looking forward to using this, getting this on the pod and uh, getting through some of the winter winds as we do our winter sessions uh, without those false indications. Next, other than bubble wrap, this is the last item. Uh, now, bit by bit I've been using um, some of the, the quarter products, um, like the PVA mesh, the ring rings, um, the PVA bags, the solid bags. Uh, I've been liking them, really been enjoying them. Um, this is an essential piece of kit that pretty much everybody has, and I only ever see it by Corda, so I don't even know if it's made by other companies. The Crusha, uh, the Crusha tool. This is the small version. Um, there is a larger version, but I think it was only a few millimeters larger, maybe 10 millimeters larger. Um, I just didn't feel the need for that. So, you know, for doing the, the mesh bags, you know, mixing some chop oilies up into a spod mix, uh, this is an essential piece of kit. Uh, Demir has one, I've used it a number of times, and really it's hard to see how I've been you know, crushing up boilies and doing up mixes by hand or with my pliers if they're a little bit uh, older boilies and a bit sitting out uh, and firmed up. Needed one of these. Got one of these. So, really looking forward to using this. This is the uh, the the Crusher Special Edition. Uh, it says Thinking Tackle on it. I do enjoy that program, so kind of cool that I have a Thinking Tackle Crusher. Pretty stoked about that. So, that is the kit this time. Man, it's cold out here. Uh, um, 
so yeah a lot of a lot of kit that I'm really looking forward to using some of it I've already been using I'm um, just going with a different color pattern um, Jacob your spawn so all of this from carp kit latest order uh, this particular order actually has to go back in the box um, so by the time you see this video um, it'll be the day before I actually get all these items uh, and that's because these are a gift from my wife so thank you wife a um, little bit bummed that I have to put these back in the box and wait a couple of days to get them and you know start tying rigs with them but oh well so happy birthday to me thanks wife really appreciate it really looking forward to using this and this these so yeah uh, there we go that's this this unboxing video so uh, next time around we'll look forward to seeing what we get from carp kit um, who knows new stuff going up on the site every day I check the site every day to see what's there so maybe the next round will be uh, you know different baits um, probably more gardener hook aligners uh, but who knows we'll see what else so until next time, thanks for watching. Hey, for more videos like you just saw, just click on the links right over here. And to subscribe to our channel and keep up with the latest updates and newest videos, just click the logo on the screen.